I have a theory why Melanie Linsky gets only the precious few leading roles she does. Cinema has yet to make a film worthy of the towering emotional intimacy and honesty that she brings to every role she plays. The film doesn't exist that could handle Melanie Linsky at the height of her powers. It would overwhelm us. Linsky's first role saw her already exuding a peculiar kind of confidence, one not frequently seen in young actors. In Heavenly Creatures, she and Kate Winslet ensure lifelong careers in front of the camera, devouring its gaze. Oh, I'm the matron's favorite patient, and she showed me her special stitch. I love the color. It's for you. Oh. <laughs> Living in a world of histrionic fantasy that is never too much. For you, my lady. <laughs> Deborah! Young Peter Jackson concocts a fantasy worthy of twin girl imaginations running at full speed towards oblivion. Crying. Don't be sad, Gina. Yvonne! 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 I didn't hit you, did I? I've got to go home. Lindsay's mix of dissatisfaction, romantic longing she can't begin to fathom, and hormone-fueled ecstatic exasperation is every bit the equal of Winslet's privileged dissemination of will. Spending more time with boys. Uh, you don't want to hurt Juliet's feelings, but I'm sure she'd understand you're having other interests outside of the friendship. I mean, there's all sorts of clubs and hobbies that you... Bloody fool. For their achievements, Winslet was handed starring roles. Linsky supporting but she had a fully formed screen personality upon which directors were all too eager to get their hands. None of you little ingrate! You see! You see what I have to put up with! Silence, both of you! Good Lord! Are they always like this? Worse, Your Majesty. She played the sidekick, the servant, the other sister. There! You see? She was so effervescent that she could ably fill up the margins of any film with bracing realism, a lived-in sense of unworthiness. Bumstein, is there a problem? Uh, uh, no, there, there's no problem. Linsky, it was quite clear, could make an audience understand in a few seconds of screen time that she was embarrassed, that she wished she could disappear from a room, that she wasn't sure why she'd been handed her lot in life. Disappointment in her hands hits harder than it does when it comes to other actors because she's able to tell an audience that she was expecting it, waiting for it that she knew its sting all too well, and it had found her again. It's all the more remarkable for how readily she'd fall under its sad spell. Another? Sure. You meeting someone? No. You know, it's been so long since I had a night to myself, so I just thought I would see where the night takes me. Gotcha. Mm. Did you want the hummus toast? Um... Yeah, what is that that they have? That's it right there. That's it? It's world famous. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Yeah, cool. Sure. Her facial muscles would gently tighten. Her eyes would search the farthest corner of the space. Her voice would get high and slow. And her inner life would spill out like a river from a broken dam. And I already have two kids. I'm like, Scotty, get off. <laughs> mm. Do you have kids? No, I don't. 
Wow, it changes everything. Mm. So, are you married? Um, well, I got divorced a few months ago. That's so sad. Who was he? He, I mean, he's not dead. <laughs> her yearning eyes, the perpetual mortification that would spring from her jawline, the hopes she daren't express. It's going okay. okay. Oh, I do. It's good. Um, I don't, I don't know why I called exactly. I, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know I have to sign the papers, Dave. <laughs> They're good. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. They miss you too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um. No. <laughs> Do you really want me to say that? Okay, I mean, no. No, they don't hate you. No, the opposite. Okay. Linsky's vulnerability is also something to which people could easily relate. The sadness and hope she uses to transport viewers from their own emotions and into hers. One is both filled with empathy, remembering every time they'd been placed in her character's shoes, but also completely divorced from our own experience, as she makes this sort of everyday sentimental crossroads seem like an entirely new place. You taught me how to be loved. I don't think that I even knew what that meant, to be loved, before I met you. You're not a kid, Jeremy, like I said. You're not like some boy. I just had never been with a man before. And I didn't know what that was like. Hello. My, my name is Leonardo. Let me into the castle, please. You're not Leonardo. That's just a sad princess. They need to come in. So many creators want her to be part of their projects, that they'll write small parts just to include her. Her days as a supporting player seem numbered, but every role will continue to have ten tons of adorable but aching humanity wired to explode whenever a character of hers has to once again accept the ordinary defeats we've all faced at some point or other. Say a word for Jimmy Brown Miscarriage. What? And say what? When? Thursday. Melanie Linsky kept big movies honest for so long without seeming to exert any effort. That she's being rewarded with larger roles, once again, is one of the few instances of the system growing a brain and doing what's right. But even if she only ever played supporting parts for the rest of her life, she'd deserve every award and superlative we could hand her. <laughs>